Good afternoon from Bakeswell Marine Sales. We're the UK, Mallorca and Southern Spain dealership for Fairline Yachts. My name's Stephen Chambers. This afternoon I'd like to show you around this stunning dealer approved 2017 Squadron 48. This Squadron 48 is a boat that we supplied from new. Um, she's just had the one owner, been used here on the south coast. She's in very, very good condition and has been well looked after. Nice large boat, 15.6 metres overall, her beam is 4.3 metres. This particular example has got a very, very high specification. So if we start from the stern of the boat here, you'll see that the 48's got a large platform. Um, this is the high-low submersible platform. Let's just drop it down a wee bit. Can't go too mad because of the, uh, the pontoon here. But the platform does go all the way underneath, so the idea is you launch your tender from it. One of the key features with a fair line, if you've got your uh, platform under the water, you still can walk from port to starboard, starboard to port on the boat with this step. And likewise, when there is a tender in situ, you can get from side to side uh, because your tender's sitting that little bit further back. So let's just close the platform up again. Another key point on the boat, from a mooring perspective, you've got entry doors, port and starboard. We'll just walk up onto the platform. We'll see this nice big lower saloon area. Your steps up onto the flybridge um, aren't sort of molded in like they have been traditionally. They're a, an external feature, which actually gives you more space in your saloon um, and also gives you a little storage sort of option behind it. Um, with reference to storage, we've got this nice big double sofa, um, which lifts up. And we've got a big storage locker under here. The stainless steel um, is a built-in tender, uh, sorry, fender rack. You've also got both sides of the boat. You know these cool little rope lockers. So the idea, you leave your stand lines attached to your, your mooring cleats, um, and then your locker can house your rope. So you've not got to sort of tie it up out the way. It's got the full interior and ex exterior mood lighting pack. Um, so the blue cockpit low level lights, the white upper level lights, and up around the side, we've got the blue lighting as well. Walking through into the saloon, um, as I said, very, very high specification on this boat. So it's got a lot of upgrades. Uh, firstly, you'll notice the, the leather sofas. It's got the winter white leather uh, with the contrast piping. Um, and she's also got the upgraded cabinetry, which is the satin teak and the, uh, the oak random flooring. So big sideboard here, which houses your um, TV, which disappears when she's not in use. Four big sort of locker spaces, which have got your, your bottle and glass racks. That's the center to the two end cabinets. Our nice big storage bins. One thing we will notice is TV's got the full surround sound system, the Harman Kardon system. As we sort of pan round the saloon, I've got the blinds open on this side. As we come round to port, you see that I've got the blinds in a sort of in situ position. So she's got full blinds all the way around. Patio doors themselves have the blinds built in. So lift up and down the blinds. As we come round under the helm seats, you get a bit more storage, but you've also got your entertainment centre here in the middle. So your Harman Kardon stereo system, which plays through the TV. That also is your uh, DVD player. And then locker storage beside it again. She's got the high-low table um, with a pedestal there that drops the table, um, makes the table into sort of a coffee tear area when you're having a bit of a sort of um, stretch out on the boat. And going forward, you've got this sort of additional sort of little helm companion seating area. Um, so you can have more, more people looking forward on the boat. One thing you notice with a fair line as we get to the helm is that the, the helmsman actually sits near the middle of the boat um, so away from the edge of the boat. This gives you much, much better visibility when you're underway. So you've got the two, the two individual Recaro helm seats and then a really nicely laid out helm station. 
start with the instrumentation small garmin unit there is a uh, your depth and uh water speed and then we've got the the fill for uh, seven inch garmin volvo penta engine display panel that's actually interfaced with the plotter so if you want to have your plotter um running as it is at the moment as a chart plotter you can then use your engine display as your radar because of course you've got your analog engine controls up top it's got the volvo ips 650s in it so it is a pod drive system so joystick controlled really really straightforward to drive but we also have the bow thruster fitted to the boat as well so really nicely laid out helm station great visibility if we just turn the ignitions on and let the dials flash into life you can see that the boat has done 338 hours from new two section windshield with the wipers there you also have got uh, blackout screens that clip onto the exterior so that the whole saloon here can be uh, sealed off if you wanted to sort of overnight up here as well. So as we go from upper deck down to the lower deck, we go straight into the galley. Now this Squadron 48 is a three cabin layout and we'll go through the cabin layout shortly. So you get this nice large galley area here. you get the double burner hob combination oven below a couple of the nice features on this boat is this great big american style fridge freezer so top section here freezer and then below that you've got the big fridge one also lovely feature of the galley from a storage perspective is this sort of great big sort of pull out larder area here. So lots and lots of storage in the boat, as well as this. You've got underfloor storage as well, and these two large lockers. So great for sort of keeping bottled water and canned goods and stuff like that. Just up above storage for all your crockery. All soft closed doors and then all your glasses and cups and then the third locker here a little bit more storage but actually it's your uh, your tank level so your waste tank and your fresh water tank and um, that's where you operate your pump out uh, for your holding tank as well again storage room lots of drawers here in the galley and then the boat's got the the optional fitted cutlery drawer as well Okay, so we'll get on to accommodation just before we go into the owner's cabin. This is what we call our mimic panel. So this is your battery isolation panel. You've also got a large breaker panel here. But what you tend to do is leave, leave the breaker panel set up and then you just use the mimic panel as you come onto the boat to power everything up. So into the owner's cabin, we've got the large double bed. So you've got a mood lighting package, which is the two standard lamps and then the lighting around uh, the headboard and the lighting also around the, um, the window pelmets. Again, lots and lots of storage. Six drawers this side. Um, this boat, from an optional point of view, um, she's got the additional sofa. It's a little bit more sort of comfort here in the sofa area. The boat's fitted with um, full AV kit all the way through to get the TV at the head of the bed here. It's also got the fusion sound system um, all the way through the boat. So each cabin, each area has got its own fusion stereo system fitted, which you can just see behind the, the heater there. You've got your head unit there. And then that's the sort of uh, plug-ins there directly into the back of the TV. So nice big owner's cabin, lots and lots of natural light. Ensuite head. So through the head, traditionally with Fairline on all the heads. 
with the hinge lid over the loo, which gives you sort of this sort of worktop area. You've then got three storage lockers above, which hinge up. So plenty of storage all the way through this boat. And then you've got your ensuite shower. It's a nice big usable fill head height shower. What you'll notice is that there's a step, step down into the shower. That's what gives it its, its head height. Um, and also a nice feature of that is that the door sits just beyond the step. So when you have used the shower, you've not got to sort of towel down all the floor. Uh, water runs off the door and back into the shower itself. Again, from a storage point of view, you've got this nice big illuminated hanging locker, which is a nice big deep double height locker there. Um, it's worth noting as well that this boat has got the generator with air conditioning fitted. Again, zone also, each, each cabin, each space has its own, own air conditioning unit. Um, hence the vents up the top here, and that's reverse cycle, so it doubles up as heating as, as well as air conditioning. So walking back through the galley, going to the forward cabin. Now, another feature of this boat and an option was the scissor baths. So instead of having the fixed made up uh, double berth, you've got the scissors. These all obviously pull together um, to give you a double and lock together. But again, mood lighting pack. So you can see the mood lighting be below the pelmets. All the way around, lots of lighting here. Um, she's got the, the deck hatch there as well. Again, from a storage point of view, nice big hanging locker just behind the door here. Again, she's got her own AV, air conditioning in here as well, Harman Common surround sound, um, and the TV. And then you've got the second head, which is en suite to, to both this and the third cabin. So again, again you've got your loo with a hinged uh, lid over the top. And then as we walk around, again, another big, nice, usable shower. Again, with plenty of storage over the top of the raised sink. Um, as I say, this is a three cabin layout, so we'll open the door going forward and we're into our third bunked cabin. So lots of accommodation. Again, behind the mirror there, big storage hanging locker. Um, lower bunk has the window again with the blinds. Then this door takes us back into the galley. So back up through the, the big saloon, gives you another angle of the saloon, just from the sort of elevated helm position. And uh, we'll take a walk through. And we'll come up onto the flybridge. As you can see, it's a nice windy, wet day here in Swanage. Not the ideal to make a video and try and sell the dream, but we'll do our best. We've always had large flybridge uh, with all the Fairline models. So as we come up through, we got this nice big handrail around the, uh, the stairs up to the flybridge. Nice big sort of U-shaped seating area here. The table drops um, and there's an infill cushion that sits on top of the table, giving you another sun pad. Pan round to the bar. So we'll lift the lids up. So you've got your your griddle and your sink. And then we've got our ice maker and our flybridge fridge. So nice big usable unit there. Coming forward, this sort of double seating position. Now there is an infill um, that fits in here, giving you a sort of third sort of lounging position there. And as we walk round, we can see again, we've got the double Recaro helm seats. The helm itself is actually a carbon copy of the lower helm. Obviously this is an exposed position, so it's rather than being in sort of the finished material, this is a white glass fiber helm. Um, but again, the same sort of 
electronics you get the 12 inch garmin display the 7 inch volvo um, engine control display and then all the analog gauges again with your uh, joystick and your bow thruster controls So nice big usable flybridge area, plenty of room. The wing on the back there, as you can see, we've got the Garmin radar. Um, so it has got a radar fitted to this boat. Um, pretty much full electronic package. And we'll just look over onto the bow of the boat. So a nice big usable bow, built-in cup holders just behind the bow hatch. Um, and then the recess there, um, which can have the optional sump pads fitted. worth noting in the stairs on the boat very very good stairs rather than sort of your traditional sort of ladder um, you've got a nice big walkway that's allowing me to walk foot over foot I'm not holding on but I'm also holding on the camera so again you're not sort of struggling up and down when the boat's underway we'll do a little wander um, around the exterior of the boat so we've got these nice big wide side decks grab rails up the top here Nice handrail um, height all the way around, so you feel nice and safe getting to the bow of the boat. Again, I'm not, not shimmying sort of foot over foot, I'm walking foot side by side, so it gives you an idea of the, the width of the deck. Makes it nice and easy to get round. Big anchor locker on the front with a windlass. So a nice big usable anchor locker space there. It's worth noticing that you can actually fit a couple of your bow fenders in there as well so you don't have to take all your fenders to the stern of the boat it's got the foot switches there for the anchor and um, you can also control the anchor from both of the helm units just looking back on the boat a nice easy boat to, to walk around i know we're not underway but i am walking along holding a camera and not holding on here back into the saloon so a couple of deck hatches in the saloon area off at the far end there nice big usable storage locker the middle locker here is your uh, manual bilge pumps and also your override for your platform and your fuel isolators the large locker is your engine room access you've actually got two engine room accesses um, what I'll do I'll lift up this second one here and we'll come down into the engine room and show you your engine room again holding the camera it shows you how easy it is to get down into the engine room probably one of the best engine engine um, access boats uh, we currently have so we've got the twin Volvo IPS 600s. So we've got two engines. We use a four foot jack shaft to get the engines forward to displace the weight properly on the boat. So we get a really nice planing hull with a 48. This boat was designed as an IPS hull. So it gets up onto a plane nice and flat, runs nice and flat, works ever so well. You've got your IPS units um, behind it. Um, that's all your kit for your air conditioning. Over on the far side then, um, we have the pump for the platform, your clarifier for your hot water. Just panning around a bit more. See we've got the initial fuel filters and then you've got your fuel filters on your engine. And just as we come round, the big coming zone and generator there. So everything's nice and easy to get at. Nice, easy, well laid out engine room. Lots and lots of space. Um, that's your second entry. So your ladder, you can move between both entries, but as you can see, plenty of room to get between the engines. You can get over the, over the side of the far engine. You can get right to the transom of the boat. And we've got this nice LED lighting in here which makes a sort of owner's maintenance an absolute doddle. So thank you for taking the time to watch through this video of this 2017 Squadron 48. 
Um, this is a boat that we've taken in part exchange. Um, it, therefore, it's a stock boat of ours and we sell all of our stock boats through our dealer approved scheme. Um, that means that the boat comes fully serviced. That's engines, pods, generator, air conditioning. Um, we valet the boat top to toe, inside and out, machine polish and the exterior, uh, full teak treatments, all of the canvas and upholstery is cared for and cleaned. Um, we also snag the boat, so we go through the boat and check that if anything's not right, we make it right. Um, we give a full handover, something like this, usually a two-day handover, plus um, additional um, RYA tuition if it's required. Um, and we also put 12 months warranty. So if you'd like any further details, please don't hesitate to contact. Um, email is southampton at batesworth.co.uk and we'd be only too happy to help. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.